Welcome back to our Pinterest YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful romper or jumpsuit. Okay, so it's a cut together one piece jumpsuit, which means we don't have any seam line at the waistline and also we don't have any joining at the center front as we can see. So, this is what the crotch looks like, and you can see how perfect this came. So, I'll be taking us through how we can cut and sew this easily and beginner friendly. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So in another video, we'll be learning how to make the crop top that is attached to the upper part of the jumpsuit. It's actually optional and it's detachable. You can use it with the crop top or without the crop top, just like you have it here. Okay, so registration for our online classes are ongoing. We have the beginners class, the intermediate and the upgrade class. So I'll be leaving the details to the registration on the screen for you to see the numbers to call so if you're interested in any of our classes kindly contact us and we'll put you through how you can register for them okay so to make this jumpsuit i'm going to be working with this crepe fabric it's very stretchy it's like a lacquer fabric so for this you need a stretchy fabric because i'm not going to be adding a zipper to this and also you can have a zipper if you want it's going to be a one piece jumpsuit which means i'm not going to have any seam at the waistline it's just going to run from the shoulder all the way to the hem of the jumpsuit so i'll be drafting this on my pattern paper for so that we can see it well because the chalk may not show well on this fabric so i have my pattern paper like this and then i'm going to use the same pattern for both the front and the back so what i'm going to do now is to start taking my measurements on this paper so first i'm going to take my vertical measurement and here i'm going to take my armhole measurement i'm starting from my starting point which is this the armhole i'm working with is eight inches so because it's eight and a half inches because this is a sleeveless and i don't want it to be exposing too much so i'm just going to leave it at eight inches then i'm going to go over to the waistline so the waistline that i'm working with is 16 inches so this is the 16 inches the hip line that i'm working with is 25 inches so my hip line is 25 inches and then i'm going to mark that so now for my crotch so i took my crotch measurement from my waistline which is here so when i took the measurement i had 11 inches for my crotch i'm going to leave a picture on how you can take your crotch measurement on the screen so that you can see how to if you don't know how to take your crotch measurements so this is my waistline let me just draw this out so that we can see it better so here is my waistline so from my waistline like i was saying i took 11 inches as my crotch line measurement so from there i'm going to measure the 11 inches but because this is a one piece jumpsuit so for you to be able to sit comfortably in it i'm not going to be using exactly 11 inches i'm going to add two or three inches to it depending on how big the person is so for this i'm just going to add three inches to this so if i had three inches to 11 inches I'm going to have 14 inches so which means from my waist now instead of taking 12 11 inches i'm going to measure 14 inches so i have 14 inches here and then the next measurement you need is your hem but because this is going to be like a romper it's not a long jumpsuit it stops around the tie area so i have 20 inches left here so that's just going to serve as my length so now i'm going to make all of this into a straight line and then we'll start to draft our pattern so i mark all of this now and then i'm going to label the lines so from on my starting point here i'm going to take my shoulder measurement so the shoulder i'm working with is 14 inches divided by two is going to give me seven inches so i'll mark seven inches here and then here for my neckline i'm going to draw out my three inches by three inches so this is a tentative neckline i'm still going to modify this to fit what i intend to use for my my jumpsuit so here i'm going to go down by one inch for my shoulder slope and then i'm going to connect it to my neck point so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to take my bust measurement Okay, so the bust measurement I'm working with is 38 inches. So 38 inches divided by 4 is going to give me 9.5. So because I'm using a stretchy fabric, I'm not going to add any allowance to this. 
but if you're not using a stretchy fabric you can just add one or half an inch allowance or whatever allowance that you use to sew so on my waistline the waist i'm working with is 28 inches 28 divided by 4 is going to give me 7 inches so i'm just going to put the 7 inches down and then on my hip line the hip i'm working with is 40 inches so 40 divided by 4 is going to give me 10 inches so this is my hip line and then from my center front i'm going to mark out the 10 inches okay so now on my hip line i'm going to measure 10 inches so the next thing now is for me to connect all of these measurements together so i'm going to connect from my bust to the waist and then from the waist i'm going to connect to my hip line okay so on the waist area i'm just going to make sure that i blend in any sharp edge that i may have there because you don't want it to be too sharp so now the measurement that i took on my hip here i'm just going to take it down to the hem remember this is the hem this is my crush line this is the hem and my hem stops here because my jumpsuit is not going to be too long it's just going to stop around the tie area so what i have here on my hip which is 10 inches i'm going to take it down to the hem and then i'm going to connect it so if you want your jumpsuit to be pencil or if you want it really tight just make sure that you mark you measure out what you have on your tie that's if you are using a fabric that is not stretchy my fabric is stretchy so it's still going to contain my tie but if you're not using a stretchy if you are using a fabric that is not stretchy you may need to measure your tie so that i can confirm what you have there so now i have this in full the next thing is to work on the okay so i'm just going to draw out my hammer curl and then we're going to work on the crotch area So using my curves ruler, I'm going to connect my arm pull like this. So this is what my arm pull looks like now. So I'm going to move to the hem and work on the crotch. So for my crotch, at the center front area, which is here, I'm going to measure one and a half inches on the hem area here. I measure one and a half inches, one inch or one and a half inches, so that I can form my crotch curve here and then i'm going to connect this to my crotch like this and that is all you need to do you can see how simple it is to make this so the next thing now is to cut out this pattern that we have okay so before i cut this completely i want to modify this neckline so for my neckline i want to extend this remember we started with uh, three inches by three inches so here i want to extend this by one and a half so now my neck width is four and a half inches and then the neck depth is seven inches okay so you can make this small or i can just extend this by one inch i make my neck with four inches and then my neck depth seven inches so i'm going to use my curve driller to connect my new neckline okay so this is what my new neckline is looking like and then here also i want to adjust my shoulder so i have around three inches left of my shoulder here so i want my shoulder to just be around one and a half inches so i'm going to stop it here and then i'll reconnect this back to my armhole so all this modification is because this is what i want so you can just choose to go with whatever it is that you want so this is my new armhole and then i'm just going to take my scissors and cut this out And so this is my new armful and this is my new neckline so now i'll move to the hem and okay so now on the hem i'm just going to cut off this crotch and this is what my pattern is looking like now so now i'm going to fold my fabric into four because i'm cutting both the front and back together and on the center fold area here i'm going to make sure that this part this center part is cut on fold for both the front and the back so if you want to add zipper to this you just cut your front separately and then put your zipper allowance before you cut out the back so i'm going to cut this on my fabric now and then bring it back to show us how to join it 
so i'm gonna have to cut this on my pattern this is what it looks like so i'm just going to remove my pattern and lay my fabric work so sewing this is very very simple so this is what it looks like remember i said you should put it on fold that's why we don't have any seam at the center front so this is what it looks like i have the same pattern on both the front and the back and if you're so working on something like this i recommend a stretchy fabric once your fabric is very stretchy it's not going to give you any issues with fittings so i'm just going to lay the front and back on each other like this and then i'm going to sew it on the side i'm going to sew the crotch area also and then i'm going to join the shoulder together so that's all the sewing i need to do then after that i'm going to turn my neckline with a bias and if you want to add a sleeve to this you can also add it or you just turn your arm hood also with a bias so i'll take this to the sewing machine now and sew all of this together and then i'll bring you back to show us what it looks like so i've gone ahead to sew this now this is my shoulder seam this is the side seam and this is my crush seam so you can notch this if you want it to relax better that's if you use too much seam allowance so now i'm going to turn this to the right side and this is what i have so like i said this is like a lycra fabric it's very stretchy so to just make the work easier for you and to just fit perfectly to whatever it is that you want this to fix into so you can see the crotch area that's why i said you should notch it because of the curve so that it can relax well for you now i'm still going to turn this and notch it so that i can have something relaxing so now you just need to turn your aim line and your hand pose and your romper is ready so i'll take this to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like okay, so this is what the jumpsuit looks like on the mannequin you can see the neckline that we modified and it's important to modify this neckline to something this wide if you are not going to be using a zipper for this like me and this is what it looks like you can see that on the waistline here we don't have any seam and this is what the crotch is looking like and this is where the jumpsuit stops as you can see so if you want yours to be longer than this you can make it longer but this is the length that i'm working with and you can see how beautiful and fitted this is looking i'm just going to flip it now so that we can see what it looks like on the back so this is the back of the jumpsuit and you can see that it is equally beautiful on the back so i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.